Okay, so let's get started. Um, I actually have like no makeup on right now and I'm actually running on like literally five hours of sleep because I uploaded a video at like 2 a.m. I need to stop doing that, honestly. I don't know. So I am gonna be sipping on some coffee. In case you're interested, this mug is from Urban Outfitters. Just thought I'd tell you guys. But I did get it a while back, so I don't know if it's still available, but y'all. I actually did ask you guys to submit some questions on my Instagram and I did get like a handful more than I usually get So I'm actually so excited because I actually have things to talk about Let me just stop talking and actually start doing something I did this off camera, but I put the Glossier like um, cherrybalm.com on my lips. It just has a little like light red tint to it, which I love. And by the way, I'm not going to be sharing every product that I am putting on. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys like the ones that I haven't really shared with y'all. So I forgot to put my hair up and I have to do that or else I don't know. I need to make sure I don't look like a boy though. This is not working for me. Okay, take three. Mm. So I have my little handy dandy makeup bag. I'm not really gonna go in order, but let me just go ahead and answer a question Do you have a celebrity crush who he he I love you so much by the way? I love you too. So actually I do like to say that I do have um, a celebrity crush by the way, I think I'm running out so I like to say that my celebrity crush is Post Malone. I put too much foundation. Oh well, I'm gonna need more foundation today because of that freaking three hours of sleep. The way he pours himself into the, his me, ugh, I can't talk. The way he pours himself into his songs and music and lyrics, if you just take the time to listen to his music, but like actually listen to it, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Also, you guys, I'm doing my makeup kind of rushed, so I'm not doing it right, basically. <laughs> so if you wanna see me do it right, or like the right way, or you want to learn how to do makeup or something then just watch my summer makeup routine video i filmed that really recently so that's the most recent makeup video that i have on my channel but yeah i mean i guess that's my celebrity crush i actually saw him during music midtown he is honestly equally as good in person than he is like you know not in person i don't know okay <laughs> next question is what's your biggest fear by the way i love you so much i love you too so my biggest fear <laughs> You guys are gonna like make fun of me, but only people that are really, really close to me know this. I'm actually, no, I don't even know if I want to admit it. Wait, let me do something to my eyebrows. But anyways, my biggest fear is actually um, cockroaches. I know half of you guys are laughing. Every once in a while, I do see them in my room and it's just like, I just feel like they're disgusting. I'm paranoid that they're gonna get in my ears. I just, I just don't like cockroaches, but yeah, I just feel like they're disgusting little creatures. I always make my dad kill them, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I like move out and like my dad isn't around to kill them anymore, so. This is actually a product I want to talk about. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this so much. And I'm running out of it. This is literally the, the second bottle that I'm about to run out of. Hold up, where's the first one? I know I have the first bottle somewhere in my vanity. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's honestly kind of expensive, but like it's tart shape tape. Like, I don't know, it's so good. College tips slash advice. S K J S J S K I'm so nervous. My first day is August 12th. Oh my god, girl! Good freaking luck because you're gonna need it. Don't party too much. Ask yourself what you're planning on doing after college. I know you're just going into college, but I honestly feel like if you don't have an idea of what you wanna do after college, like you're kind of wasting some classes. You know, there is an undecided like route, but honestly, I feel like the earlier you know what you wanna do, or at least like what area of something that you want to do like definitely go to your advisor and talk about it as soon as possible because they could guide you to a better like major or even minor and i guess another thing that i get reminded of is like remember why you're studying like have a purpose as to why you're studying in college like why you want to get that degree for me my parents never went to college i see how hard my parents work just to maintain me and my well-being each and every day definitely find that motivation think more outside the picture Sure. think about your future basically and yeah i'm gonna go to the next question but i'd love to make another video like relating to this type of stuff what are you studying in college Ooh, funny story so 
Got to sip some coffee for this one. So actually when I first started off college, I was a marketing major. But as I took some more classes in the marketing like major field, whatever you want to call it, um, I realized that marketing is a little bit more analytical and I realized that I like more of the creative side of everything So I started doing more research talking to my advisor and other students around me that had similar interests Which honestly that helps so much like definitely talk to those peers that you find a lot of um, similarities between so anyways at least in my college the major that was closest to like that creative side of everything was mass communication it splits up into like three fields it's like strategic communication public relations and like journalism I believe so I ended up changing my major to mass comm and I ended up minoring in marketing because I wanted to keep some of that knowledge so as of right now that is what I'm majoring and minoring in. What's the most important thing you learned from high school? This is actually something that I feel like I learned a little bit more like after I graduated high school, like looking back at it. I kind of realized that you should not give a sh Should I curse? You should honestly not care at all for other people's opinion. Like, seriously i feel like sometimes i got in my own way and like i wanted to speak up or like i wanted to do certain things but i didn't just because like i cared way too much about what other people thought about me but now that i'm in college like i'm the complete opposite like i could not care what anybody thinks about me they could talk behind my back but I love myself. That's the main thing, like speak up. Don't be afraid to raise your hand in class. Don't be afraid to like run for that officer position. Just freaking do it. And that sounds so corny, but like it's one thing to give you advice on it, but it's another thing to like actually live it. And honestly, just have more fun in high school. Like, like obviously take your academics seriously because ultimately like that does determine where you go to college, but also don't stress yourself out. Cause I look back and I'm like, like everything ends up working out in a way. Like everything just fits how it's supposed to fit. Next question is how did you start your YouTube channel? What inspired you? So I actually started my YouTube channel. I think it was like my junior year of high school. I actually archived my very, very, very first YouTube video that I made because it's so, so cringy and like I can't even look back at it. So cringy, like seriously, so cringy. I took like video editing classes in high school. I look back at it though and like all these things have helped me build up my videos to what they are now of course I'm not a professional right now I could always be improving however though like I seriously do see such a difference from like maybe even this video to like my first video seriously and then what inspired you I've been inspired a lot by like Maggie McDonald and Danielle Carolyn I love the content of videos they create they're honestly just so positive about their life and like they're always traveling always doing new things like I genuinely like want to manifest that into my life what's your favorite pastime the shopping count I don't know y'all I will literally I love going shopping like I feel like most of the people that follow me on Instagram probably hate me just because I'm always sharing new things but I'm very like strategic with my shopping I don't know how to explain it to you guys I don't know if that's even a quality I don't know that's a good darn question honestly I feel like YouTube has a lot to do with that pastime like I feel like YouTube is technically like considered my pastime I guess another thing is like I love Pinterest I love listening to podcasts and stuff like that so I guess you could call that a pastime I don't know also I need to speed oh my highlight anyways I kind of need to speed this up because I, I don't want to be late to this conference thing what is your life goal or goals actually this is something I want to put more thought into just because like right now my life has changed so much in this past month like this whole youtube thing i really did not expect it to like um not blow up because i'm not freaking famous but everything just went in like a completely different path and like right now a lot of things have flipped i don't really want to share my goals because honestly like i have yet to figure them out but i guess more like personal goals that i can share um Let's see. Last semester, I did so good with working out. I actually did lose not like a lot of weight, but I feel like I did lose like quite a bit of weight. And I was just doing that by working out almost every day, except like one or two days a week. And then I would obviously make healthy decisions. And then this summer I came back home and I've just had to adapt to the way that my parents eat. And like being Mexican, you eat a lot of carbs, a lot of tortillas and bread and stuff like that. So I'm kind of struggling right now, but 
Um, I'm planning on just like, you know, just picking myself up again. I'm not gonna beat myself up just because I haven't been working out as much. And just when I like go back, I'm just gonna use that as motivation to like start my health grind again. For academics and school, like, just go back, like, work as hard as I can again on my academics and hopefully transfer. I don't want to talk too much about where I'm trying to transfer because I kind of want to keep it for a surprise. What advice do you have for someone going through a breakup? Girl, when you're in these, like, breakup phases, like, work on yourself for yourself. I'm talking, like, get your hair done, go to the gym, go get a manicure and a pedicure. Let's see, what else, what else? Hang out with your girlfriends, like, do all the things that seem so basic to do after a breakup, seriously, because, you know, people, like, talk so weirdly about that stuff, but honestly, I think it's such a nice thing, like, as a woman, that we could just, like, put ourselves together. Like, this is something that guys can't really do, and, like, I know it could be a struggle most days, but at the same time, that's what makes us women and strong and, like, powerful and stuff. So definitely, like, do all those little tacky things that people, like, make fun of. Eat that ice cream. Like, I don't care, but you have to go through those stages to feel better. Honestly, I recommend blocking. I know some people think blocking is childish and whatnot, but whenever there's a negative person in my life, I block them. At the end of the day, like, you're putting your emotions before anybody else's. Be selfish with um, your feelings and just stuff like that because at the end of the day, like, you want to die being happy and you don't want to, like, waste your time with negative people, negative energy. And even if you guys are trying to be friends by the end of everything, like, you need at least a month or two by yourself, like, with no contact. Then you can decide for yourself, like, what you want to do. I'm about to curl my lashes, so give me one second. Okay, so this one says, um, dream vacation, what's a good first date? First question was, what's your major? But I answered that already. So dream vacation, I would have to say um greece recently i've been seeing so many pictures of greece on pinterest oh my gosh greece is beautiful the older i get the more i want to get into traveling so i'm gonna make it happen just obviously like gotta save that money and it probably won't happen in a few years but it's definitely on my bucket list and i'm gonna make sure it happens and then what's a good first date you can't really go wrong with a bougie dinner i'm not talking like a place that's a hundred dollars and up for like a dish or something like that but personally i'm just a big fan of like restaurants and like hot spots that a lot of people love going to. I know in Atlanta there's a bunch of really cute restaurants inside of Pont City Market. In Avalon there's like the El Felix which I actually ate there yesterday. Y'all need to try their soft tortilla tacos. Those are so good. I'm Mexican so I know what like fake Mexican and real authentic Mexican tastes like and they are pretty darn close honestly. For first dates I would have to say keep it kind of casual. You're mainly just trying to get to know the person so don't go full out on the first date. I don't know. I've heard that in so many podcasts so I'm just gonna tell you guys. Also you guys look at how much of a difference mascara makes. Like it's literally like one of my favorite products. What do you use to edit? So I actually use Adobe Premiere Pro. It's not the easiest thing, honestly. Like I said, in high school, I took some classes with that type of stuff. So that's kind of how I learned to navigate at least the basics of it. What are three things you cannot live without? Ugh, this is so hard. I don't even know. Okay, well, I guess one, my dog. She makes up for me not having siblings, honestly. Like, she's the best. She cheers everybody up. This is such a basic one, but honestly, my phone, just because I love taking photos. Like, if I get lost in an island or whatnot, you best believe I'm gonna take some bomb Instagram photos. I'd be that type of person, honestly. I guess the third one would be mascara, honestly, because mascara makes everything a hundred times better. Most holy grail product you love. Girl, definitely. Where is it? Where is it? This thing right here. It's like a blessing and it's a curse. It's so good. Like it literally, you could not tell that I got like three hours of sleep, but it is like $30. I wish it was even like a bigger container for $30, honestly. I'd have to say definitely the Tarte Shape Tape. And I am in the shade medium in case you're interested. Biggest tip on staying body positive slash confident. I love talking about like body positivity, body confidence, because I've struggled with it so dang much like in my life in general. Honestly, girl, like... You just need to love yourself. It sounds so, so, so corny, but you're only gonna get one freaking life and you don't wanna spend it just like criticizing yourself on the way you look. Also, these are the new brushes that I got. Marble and they're from BH Cosmetics. 
so I will link those down below just because why not but yeah don't waste your time like feeding all this negativity into yourself seriously another thing I realized is that for the most part, most people could change the way that they look if they really wanted to. If it's something that's affecting you, like personally, like I've never been like ashamed of my body, but last year I definitely noticed like I wasn't also like as happy with it as I wanted to be. So I just started working out, like I said, I started um, eating healthier and that like honestly took my life to a whole nother level. Like it taught me discipline. After I did that, I just felt like confident in myself even if you're not like healthy or like where you want to be in your health goals right now like you could always work on that like don't be afraid to like consider tomorrow your new year's but yeah love yourself don't hate on the body that you have because it's the only one you're gonna get and yeah just know that if you're not happy you could always work on yourself for yourself though as long as you have the right mentality so yeah next question how old are you um so i am actually 20 years old my birthday is on february 2nd so i have until next year being 20 technically not a teen anymore but i'm in that really awkward phase where i'm not allowed to say that i drink and stuff are you in a sorority so no i am not in a sorority maybe i'll make a separate video on this or i'll talk about college all in one video i don't really know but honestly like my circumstances were just really weird from the beginning i didn't start college until the spring semester unlike most people that start in the fall and in the spring semester only some of the sororities do recruitment and i didn't want to do that i wanted a rush where like all of these sororities have open bid and then I don't know after that things just never really happened for me and then now that I'm planning on transferring to a bigger school I just don't really feel the need to like rush in my current college we'll see how things go but I'm not really gonna stress out over it how do you find your style honestly I feel like I owe a lot of it to Pinterest follow me on Pinterest I have the link in the bio we could be Pinterest buddies and then the last question I'm gonna be answering for today because I actually do need to go to like this conference like right now is what keeps you motivated wait I should probably put this on hold up mm. Perfect. Also, you guys, I'm running out of this. I basically already ran out of this, like, Glossier lip gloss. I don't even think it's focusing, is it? Which I am obsessed with, honestly. So I ordered a new one. Something only Julia would do. But dang, like, I have nothing. And also, under this one, I put on the Glossier um, Generation Z lipstick in the color Cake. It's, like, a really pretty, like nude almost like orangey color what keeps me motivated i don't know everything in my life has different aspects that keep me motivated i'd have to say that my motivation just like depends a lot on the energy that i surround myself with for example like like on instagram if i'm following people that are spreading like positive vibe that are living their life to like 100 percent like i love that type of stuff because like it makes me want to live my life 200 percent podcasts help so much when you're doing little things at home like cleaning and stuff like that you just feel very very productive there's so many little things honestly maybe i'll do another video on talking about stuff like this i love just watching videos on like productivity and just listening to podcasts about being motivated motivated and stuff like that so we'll look into that but anyways that actually is it for today's video thank you guys so much for listening if you made it to the end i did want to say thank you guys so much to those who submitted questions i definitely saw all of your guys's questions and i tried to answer as many as i could make sure to follow me on my instagram because every once in a while i do love um filming little videos like this where i could just open up about myself and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enter my giveaway you guys like i did that for you guys so definitely don't forget to enter it's completely free to enter you just need to follow the rules that are in the description of that video and i'll put them down in this video as well yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye